Greetings everyone, a warm welcome. Hey, thanks for joining me. Taurus, this is your reading for December, the last of the decade. I can hardly believe it actually. Time has just gone by so quickly. Guys, in this video we will be looking into what is coming for December, how you are going to be moving into 2020, what things to look out for. It's also a really good time to spend time alone yourself and format the ideas that you want for the next decade ahead. Because as we march into 2020, this is the pivotal time where dreams are formed, where your ideas are capitulated into this next decade. There is nothing more important than doing things right now. You need to formulate and visualize all of that happening now so that you are enticing the universe to send these energies to you. It's incredibly important, the goal setting aspect of life. But anyhow, as we move into December, coming out of the Scorpio uh, intensity energy and moving into Sagittarius white light, Christed white light, uh, religious festival energy we are still in the portals of spirituality a lot so this is a very good time to be able to celestially communicate with the other realms and dimensions now some basic astrological information for December is on the 2nd of December Jupiter enters Capricorn on the 30 on the 12th of December Chiron goes direct on the 13th we have Friday the 13th then um, the 22nd of December Capricorn season starts, on the 25th we have Christmas Day and on the 26th we have a new moon and solar eclipse in Capricorn. So we are running out of the 2010s teens, decades with a solar eclipse and we will be moving into 2020 very much with the energy of that eclipse. So these are, I can only say that if you think the last 10 years we have gone through huge change both emotionally, globally, collective consciously, IT world, then the 20s are going to be fourfold of change. It's going to be quick and swift. You need to be aware, you need to be engaged, you need to be protected, you need to be active, everything. So before we start, again, um, I will just say that I did some intuitive work for you and you got this mantra that came uh, for you guys and it is as follows. I allow myself to be open and receptive to learning new ideas <laughs> after having just said all of that. I also got the numbers one, two, three, and then I put an arrow next to it and I said, this is like onwards, going onwards with something or, you know, ready, set, go as if you are preparing to charge into something uh, like a race or a running line. Uh, the orange and deep purple colours also came out and re the terms regaining strength and emotional. I also have feeling determined and strong again, a sense of self-pride, passion and passionate heading up, work or learning something new. So those were the things that came for you, quite a mix of different messages, Taurians, one way or another. Now we have a whole different bunch of cards that we can use here. John Holland Psychic Tarot, the A Energy Oracle Deck, Doreen Virtue's Daily Guidance, and the messages from the Fairies by Doreen Virtue as well. But I do think we will start with this deck here. It's one of my favorites. It deals in the colors of life as well. So it blends in color frequency into the messages. So this is for Taurus. This is the last reading for the decade for 2019. As we move into 2020, what will be their message with that as well? Because this is an oracle card, deck and it's not actually a tarot deck I don't think it really matters if it's actually reversed or not so I will just spin these cards around anyhow if any others come out upside down 
this is the five of pentacles and i have to say it's not the best one to start with it's a bit gloomy in many ways okay but the good thing about it is it's a five and a five is a very transitory number meaning it is neither here nor there or it is a bit of both of here and there it can mean changes in your financial perceptions or changes in your career zone and we talked about that in the messages that just came when I said I feel as though there's work or relearning something at the very end work or learning something or relearning some of you might find a challenge in your career sector or you might be challenged one way or another around your finances this card can also represent feeling a little bit unwell coming across things such as a flu or a cold uh, especially that's what I tend to think of it it can even represent traditionally in the traditional tarot cards something like a broken limb or a, you know you might trip and your ankle might be strained or swollen things like that can happen and this one is portraying a hand quite strongly so I wonder if for some of you there might be a hand issue going on as well as I say, it is a temporary card. It can mean that finances are a little bit stifled around this time. This can be due to overspending or an, um, perhaps something you were thinking of coming like a bonus or a pay increment or a pay rise is put on hold temporarily. It can also mean that you are thinking of uh, supporting others one way or another and sometimes your help or money is required unexpectedly as well. So let's see what else is in store for Taurus for December and moving into 2020. I think if nothing else, it might tell you guys to keep an eye on your financial area of life as well as perhaps your career sector. If you are thinking of starting a new job or a new business or leaving an old job, this card would not be necessarily a good indicator for that. I think it would be more prudent to perhaps do a little more due diligence around the subject matters and perhaps stay for a little bit longer, perhaps until after the new year in 2020 when things settle down a little bit and we have an idea of where we're heading. Also globally, we have the Brexit elections coming up in December the 12th and that may have an impact globally on a lot of things for quite a lot of people so that might be something to consider for some of you watching this video these cards have gone quiet now we just go back to this is for Taurus for December 2019 into 2020 Uh, okay so that is a nice one to have come out beside it accelerated motion this is the eight of wands and of course the beginning of your intuitive message was I allow myself to be open and receptive to learning new ideas and I said you get the feeling of one two three ready set go well this is what accelerated motion is and she is learning new concepts of the cosmos if you like ideas coming through to her or being downloaded from the astral plane or from the higher self or from collective conscious so ideas from outside of your own mind this card can also indicate travel so some of you might be traveling over this period and sometimes this could be for a holiday other times it can also represent new people coming into your life and quite swiftly as well because this is a wands card, it can be associated with career. So this five here at the very beginning may have been a temporary, which I said tends to be temporary, like a halt. You almost get the feeling that that hand is there going, halt, stop. And it's as if to say, stop, you need to look at something else or take on some sort of other idea or concept. And I have a feeling that that might be what's involved here. Then you get the seven of pentacles and the main concept of this is patience and planning and we talked a little bit about that as well about doing some more due diligence so there seems to be a there's two timing defaults going on here in this reading this incredible swift quick action but at the same time they're t talking to you about patience and planning and being a little bit more 
uh, cautious in some of the decisions you make or perhaps the actions you take. So there's nothing wrong with this one. It does say that with patience and planning and due diligence, you will make inroads in a positive way. Let's see what else came. Temptation. Yay. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. So you've got a whole mix of things going on in here. It's like you are coming and going. It's like you're on a race to start and then you think twice and then you start again and then you go, oh my God, I still haven't got it all under control. The, te the Devil card can represent a Capricornian energy. It could, so this could be someone around you with a Capricorn uh, style energy. It could be a situation that you are being tempted into and you're feeling the pinch. You're feeling like, oh, I really find this attractive and luring. And this could be associated with a job or career or money because this is what's all tied up in here. So for some of you who might be hearing like a two, if, if you're hearing something like a scheme or a proposition or an idea that sounds too good to be true, then stick with that old saying and understanding it possibly is too good to be true. You guys be very careful about uplifting something without doing this due diligence or planning and have a little bit of patience around waiting for finding out the truth about things that are going on. But the overall card at the bottom, the passion ignited, it tells me that something is ignited with you guys. You're getting very excited about a prospect or a direction, possibly an idea or a concept. It could also be a person one way or another. And the person could be this person. Some of these things need your full attention, I think is the best way to put it. I feel you're getting offers coming to you about various aspects in your life. I feel like other people are going to put offers to you that could be, we've talked about it, monetary, career, financial, and you just have to understand how it's going to impact you. Is it going to impact you for the better? Is it going to be a quick term thing or a long term thing? Are there some pitfalls along the way that you should look into? Just be, be a bit cautious about it. I think we'll have a look in these cards and see a little bit further. This is for Taurus about what these oh goodness they didn't hesitate there's a man holding a coin he could be associated with this energy here as well because he has a coin he could very well be an earth sign person there's walking away from something the world is your oyster there's a man holding a heart <laughs> the sun and the fifth chakra archangel gabriel so again we've got bundles of messages coming and going you know the sun and the ace are extremely positive and been in it i've just created a new word the sun and the ace are both beneficial which is a combination of beneficial and benevolent um they both suggest that and they're both ones you see new beginnings so they they are about this potential for prosperity and abundance and conception and something positive coming into shape there's quite a few people around you as well these guys here sometimes offering you uh, some sort of monetary support possibly from when things might be a little bit tight up here or a monetary idea or a job proposition or a way of earning money or a way of investing your money Someone might come to you and suggest that you could earn a lot of money investing in certain bonds, stocks or shares and it could be these characters here and that's why it says to you have a little bit of patience and planning to make sure that it goes well. I'm not saying that they might be not right but they might take a little bit more work and looking into. You've definitely come up with some sort of power factor in your reading and as much with the sun the ace and the world as your oyster this is about understanding newness and heading in a new direction and uplifting things that are still in the forming stage so they haven't necessarily come down onto this realm yet they're in the ethos taking shape there's a someone out here also holding a heart for you 
he could be someone you already know like a family member or a friend and you may see him over this period in December or January for some of you he could be a new romantic partner just be make sure that he doesn't have any underlying strange behavioral patterns okay so I mean if you're into things that are a little bit what people would term unusual anyhow and you think that that will be okay then that's fine if if he starts putting out some danger signals that they're things that you don't particularly like then have a way to walk away okay have a way to get out like a plan to escape now Archangel Gabriel has come in for you as well who has the fifth chakra the throat chakra and this is being able to speak your truth so not feeling afraid to stand up for who you are and being able to say what you need to say he also will guard you in terms of communication and uh, if you need to speak up in an emergency or an urgent situation call upon him for defense and protection as well some of you may have a throat issue which comes back to the colds and the flus and it might go down to the lungs for some of you and you may need recuperation it's or anything that affects this part of the head but remember to use Gabriel as a high vibrational frequency to help heal any of these things that might take place uh, so he is a good communicator especially if you are wanting to re-communicate with someone or get back together or get back in touch with them this guy holding the heart may have been out of touch for a while and he's uh, wanting to come back in to say something sometimes it's like an apology a recommitment of some sort so that's a possibility with this with this here for some of you as I say he could be a new person coming in who will pull on your heartstrings just make sure that you feel balanced in this re potential relationship as well if it's a current relationship and it needs balancing this is a really good time to you know sort of face that and to make the changes either get rid of something that no longer serves you or bring balance into a situation that requires it or walk away from something so quite a strong bunch of messages as we're heading into 2020 there seems to be a bit about this learning or relearning gaining emotional strength and feeling determined and strong again could even be from this temptation card and being ready to kick out any old habits that you know you don't want anymore you know bring the sun in and be prepared to start these new ambitious dreams and pathways with the one two three gateway so just a little bit more here for Taurus taking them into 2020 So, well that was a bit drab wasn't it we might well have done without that but anyhow it's arrived it's pretty plain what it's saying for some of you there may have already been a broken heart this card up here can resemble or sometimes be around when we have partnerships that we are leaving and sometimes the woman decides to leave the male because things aren't going right so if that's the situation that's what might be happening and then of course you seem to still have plenty of passion and new opportunities and possibly this new person coming in to perhaps heal this broken heart although this person may be the cause of this broken heart and it may have been because of this behavioral problems going on here addictions or attitudes or behavior or a um, for some of you there could be some abuse that was involved and you're still getting that walking away from it scenario broken hearts are very painful um, it, there's, there's no denying it it's to feel a broken heart is very traumatic the, the one thing to understand is time does heal the wounds and, and moving forward the one two three moving into the next timeline uh, restoring your own faith and strength and taking the time out to nurture yourself and look at your good points and values and set new directions are all very important as well so for some of you 
it could be a physical heart problem as well that that you have and this man holding the heart could have come back to visit you or um, to check on you to make sure that you are okay because he is worried about your heart as well so there are a lot of different scenarios that each card can hold within it I think for now we will have a look at some of these daily guidance cards for Taurus for 2019 marching into 2020 oh they shot out ground yourself and daydream so grounding yourself is like spending time outdoors you are the earth sign taurians so it be befits you to spend time being grounded and to pull on earth's strong strong energy also for healing purposes for nurturing for taking the time out for recuperation, for enjoyment, for pleasure, for feeling love and harmony as well. Uh, and so when you do that, we're often in a state of not necessarily bliss and euphoria, but we're in a state of relaxation. And when we relax, we can daydream. And when we daydream, we find the answers to a lot of questions in life, especially if we're going through periods where we are wanting to reshape or redesign something. We come up with a lot of our passionate ideas and inspiration through our daydreaming because that connects us to our higher self, to collective conscious, to the higher vibrations. And that is how we find the answers for our next step forward in life. So I think I will just pull very quickly for you and just see if the fairies are wanting to give you any messages. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. <laughs> These guys have a character of their own. This is for Taurus for the final reading of the decade. Oh wow. <laughs> it's almost exactly the same message ground yourself and connect with nature you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors so they've become quite empowered about this message for you that somehow there's there's knowledge or energy and we talked about energy you you will gain energy by being at one with outdoors but it's more than that it's about ideas as well it's concepts I noticed too all these beautiful butterflies. Some of you may see some gorgeous butterflies uh, around and they could be spiritual messages or messengers. Uh, some of you, when you travel, if you are traveling, you may end up being in places where nature is abundant for some of you. Uh, definitely this daydreaming will be in effect big time, which is how you are going to make some plans and forays into the future. So we don't need to go any further, I don't think, with those. We will do one final card for you, a Keeper of the Light. So for Taurus, what Keeper of the Light? He jumped out. Oh, hope is she. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. And she is hope. So above all else, hope is a leading pathway forward if we have hope and faith we have the energy we have the desire we have the passion we have the creativity and she says love and acceptance so to the the lotus flower blossoming and she's holding the energy from it so she is also abundant with outdoors and with nature uh, so i think that's a beautiful way for you guys to finish she came out in a great um rush so she's here to give you this last message so thank you all for joining the channel um, and for being part of it for the last year and hopefully for the last few years for a lot of you please sub the channel and hit the notification button that way you will get to see all the videos when they're uploaded we all love it when you leave your comments because the community gain from insights and people's ideas as well I do wish you all a wonderful new year and festive season ahead. May you all be blessed with plenty of passion, hope and 
daydreams that come to fruition and give you the answers as you walk into the next decade. So thank you again everyone. Much love. Namaste.